Hey campers, it's Sarah. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to make baking soda and vinegar bottle rockets. Let's go! For this you will need an empty bottle, three pencils of the same length, a bottle cork, ask an adult to help you find one, duct tape, scissors, paper towel, things to decorate with, baking soda, and vinegar. You'll also need to grab an adult. This is my brother Adam. So for the body of your rocket, you're going to need your empty bottle, your three pencils, and your duct tape. So you're going to want to create a base by taping the pencils on about halfway up so that the water bottle can stand. It's time for a montage while I tape the pencils onto the water bottle. At this point, I grabbed construction paper and I made a cone for the top of my rocket by cutting out a circle and then cutting a triangle out of that circle and wrapping it around. Back to the montage! Time to decorate with stickers! So I decorated my rocket with some space stickers I had lying around my house and I also added some fish stickers because I think fish are really cool. Part, you're going to need paper towel and baking soda. So what you want to do is pour a little bit of baking soda onto your paper towel. And then wrap it up in a little pouch so it can fit in the neck of your bottle. So we're going to head outside now to fire off some rockets because this will make a mess. So grab an adult and head outside. Okay, so we're on our way to a park now because it's a wide open space. I have my brother with me to help. So yeah, this should be fun. So we've arrived at the park. It's time to set off a rocket. Hi, it's Sarah from the future and I'm back to interrupt this video too. So I actually used a different um, rocket to launch than I made in the video. So if you're wondering why it looks different, there's why. So with the help of your adult, in this case, it's my brother, Adam. So that who's technically an adult. You're gonna have them hold your bottle while you pour vinegar in about halfway up. Then you're gonna take your baking soda package and stick it in. So at first we were leaving part of the baking soda package sticking out, which means that it didn't work as well as you will see in just a moment leaving the top little part of it sticking out still. Can you hold that? Have someone hold that in place while you take your cork and wrap it in a paper towel just so it fits in better. We couldn't find a cork big enough to fit the neck of the bottle, so we had to improvise. Then you're gonna stick it in the top of the bottle. Make sure that it's in really tight because that's gonna give it pressure. All right, now you're ready to launch. Okay, this part you're gonna want an adult to do because you're gonna have to flip it carefully and then run. And as you can see, the first attempt was a failure. It's not
and so was the second. So we decided to change methods by dropping the baking soda package fully in the bottle and then sticking the cork in and flipping it really quickly. And it worked, but it took a couple tries. So, I'm going to drop this in there, then put the cork in and run away. A lot of the times the cork popped way too soon. This failed a couple times and even exploded on me, so I got drenched in vinegar. <laughs> It was also really hot out, so I took my sweater off, so bam, I'm suddenly wearing a t-shirt now. So yeah, we had a lot of attempts that didn't work. As it turns out, it is very hard to get a cork into a bottle before it explodes. <laughs> But then, we finally had one that we thought was going to work. I managed to get the baking soda package in and the cork in and flip it over, only for it to travel like two centimeters. But hey, I mean, I still consider that a sort of victory. At this point, we'd also run out of vinegar, so we figured it was a good time to head home. You may be wondering, Sarah, how does this work? Well, I'll tell you. It's because of science. When you combine baking soda and vinegar, it produces a gas that causes it to bubble. In a normal container, this just makes it fizz, but when you add a cork in, the pressure builds up and blows out the cork, shooting the rocket upwards. So I hope you guys can get your rockets to launch better than mine did. And you can share pictures of your rockets or send videos of their launches to the Club Nest Tongue Connected Band. I hope you guys had fun making rockets with me and look forward to more stuff coming this week like the campfire on Friday. Bye guys and stay hydrated.